and welcome back to Open Your Eyes. We are now moving into our final topic for the morning. And this one uh, is with a lot of folks. We've got uh, Dave Vasquez, who is a sales manager of Belize Estate Company, and also Ryan Moraine, who is a sales manager at Belize Diesel and Equipment. Guys, good morning and welcome. Good morning. Thanks for having good us. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. All right, so let's jump on into this. Summer is here, and uh, everybody look forward to all these deals coming up in the summer. What's the plan, Dave? What's the plan, uh, Ryan? What's going on? Well, I'll, I'll, let, I'll let Ryan take lead on this. I just wanted to say that, um, you know, the, the, as COVID has been taking us and everyone wants to get out with the, lax, the, yeah. the laxing of the lockdown measures and everything, uh, you know, it's important for us to offer opportunities for people to come to healthy, wholesome activities that they can bring the entire family out. You know, I, I, I hear the AG beating up um, nightclubs and everything. That's that's good. But this is nothing like that. This is yeah. a family event that, you you know, the entire family can come out. We'll be practicing all of the necessary health measures in terms of social distancing. We'll be taking temperature measures out there. But I'll have Ryan say a little bit about the details of the event. Ryan, mm -hmm. go right ahead, sir. All right. Thank you very much, uh, David and Marlene and John, for having us on air. And I want to say good morning to all the Belizeans uh, here and abroad. Um, yeah, Dave. So just to expand on this, uh, this is a new car dealers association car show. So uh, what we're hoping to accomplish is this is pretty much going to be the first um, car show or event that we're going to have post COVID. And the idea is to, again, get everybody out into an environment that's, uh, you know, welcoming and, you know, everybody needs a little outing after being locked down after all these months. Yeah. And so what we're hoping to display is, you know, all the cars that people have missed um, pretty much in this segment of the year. Uh, we will be having specials on our inventory and also we're excited to introduce some of the measures that we've taken, like especially in our vans. Uh, we've... Uh, done some adaptations to abide by the BTB's gold standard. Yeah. Uh, so we're excited to display that in some of our vehicles. And uh, I, I mean, I don't want to speak for all of the other dealers, but um, I think we're pretty much excited to showcase what we have in stock. And ultimately, the consumer wins in these kind of situations because um, they have a variety of options to choose from. We'll all be there. We'll all be bringing our game. Uh, you know, and, and our, our best products. And so uh, we're, we're very excited to have this out there and at a very popular place, the tavern, formerly known as Riverside Tavern. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, everybody knows it for the good food and the good space. So why not come out and, and enjoy a, a day out? So what type of activities can people expect at the auto show? I mean, some people may be going to look for the deals and some people are just uh, want to engage in some good window shopping. Yeah, well, Marlene, I mean, it is about window shopping, and sorry to interrupt there, uh, Ryan, just jumping right. in, but um, this is really about, uh, again, it's a sales event, as, yeah. as rightfully pointed out, but it is also an opportunity for people who enjoy looking at vehicles, vehicles, and window shopping, as you call it, just taking a look <laughs> and seeing what all is out there in terms of the latest technology. Yeah. Yeah. One thing we want to point out, uh, you know, this, 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 this new situation that has developed with the onset of COVID-19 has really changed and highlighted a lot of things that we necessarily took for granted. One of them is personal mobility. Yeah. Um, you know, in the height of this thing, the, the public transportation system pretty much was on the verge of collapsing and, and people didn't have ways of safely moving around. Mm -hmm. um, Ryan touched on a few key things. I mean, just not just that we're selling vehicles, but we are at the forefront of all, actually a lot of the safety and health measures. Um, you know, cleaning of our vehicles, not just in terms of selling of vehicles, but also people who come to our dealerships for service. Um, a lot of the dealers are taking, you know, we're at the forefront of doing proper cleaning. We at Belize Estate have a clean car pledge that we're mm -hmm. doing and a sanitizing program that that guarantees that the vehicle will be cleaned and germ-free upon uh, after your service. So. These kind of things are what dealers are doing. And so we're taking everything to account. But I mean, coming back to the point of public transportation and the mobility needs, um, you know, there, there are six dealers taking part. Um, I think it's five actually we're down to and, it's rep and they represent 16 brands, wow. almost 16 brands. And so there is a price point for everyone. You know, people might say, boy, I didn't hear Belize Diesel or Belize Estate. And they're saying that how, you know, we can't afford those vehicles or 
you know, King Motors and Caribbean Motors, these, these things. But there's a price point within our in all the ranges of vehicles that we sell for everyone, uh, new and used. And it's a good opportunity to come out and engage the, the sales staff of each dealership to talk about the new and used options we all have. And, of course, find something that would suit your needs. Definitely. Yeah. I always say, you know what, Dave, um, uh, we, that investment that you need to put in. Because getting a new vehicle simply means that you'll have it on the road for a long time, as long as you take good care of it. Will there be like financing and stuff yeah. there? Uh, what can we expect? Well, right now, the banking industry, and again, I'll have Ryan jump in, but the banking industry is in a bit of a turmoil, as you guys have followed the news. Um, you know, the, the banks that normally participate are all caught up in either their own promotions or anything. But, you know, all of the all of the dealerships have great working relationships with the banks. I mean, it's easy for people to come in. They don't necessarily will be there on site. But at the end of the day, you know, once you come out there on Saturday and engage the dealerships, we can also engage the banks in the forefront. It won't be a direct selling event out there on Saturday, so to speak, unless you, you know, of course, in the wonderful world, you come with cash, of course, or come with your checkbook <laughs> ready to go. But, um, you know, engaging the banks again, too, is something that we all have the capacity to do. And that will be done immediately following the show as we take our list of names. Yeah. One of the things we're trying to promote is also contactless um you know, service in terms of, you know, being able to, again, you make your appointment coming for a test drive. And, yeah. it, you know, a lot of it is taking these new measures and a new normal into consideration, right? So, yeah. cool. So, can we, can we cut to the chase and talk about what type of deals we're going to be seeing? <laughs> Ryan, tell us. Yeah, well, um, <clears throat> we, we do, we're at a, a very pivotal point of the year. Yeah. Right, we're, we're already in July and most automotive manufacturers will start to change and introduce their new models. So mm -hmm. uh, at least for us, uh, we do have some models that will be, um, you know, getting some kind of discount. Yeah. Um, but that, that's to be negotiated and that's the, the magic about getting out there and getting into the, into the gist of it because, yeah. uh, you know, we, we can have a little bit better uh, conversation about the kind of vehicle that you want the kind of availability that we have and you know so that that's really where we get down to the nitty-gritty of the negotiations and oh. you know we, we want to invite not not only families but also maybe business managers yeah. who you know need to be looking for transportation for their business now because yeah. now the the public transport system might be a little overwhelmed if you implement the social distancing. So businesses need to start looking for business transport, yeah. which is where our vans come into place and where the gold standard comes into place. Yeah. Um, so that that's really what we want to be showcasing um, is, is how we evolve into the new normal and how quickly we adapt and, and how seamlessly we can get this done. And personal transport is going to be one of the driving factors of, of the economic success that we are going to be um, hoping for for the rest of the year, um, either by the hotels or from the business sector. So we, we want to implement and showcase these things. And yeah, at the same time, we can negotiate price. And yeah. that, that's why we have these kind of shows. So the negotiation is, is a, a lot easier if you were there at the auto show, of course. Oh, of course, of course. <laughs> you know, um, it's, it's not as effective over a Zoom call. I know, I know. But, you know, you mentioned something earlier that I wanted to come back to. You said you, you have a selection of vans um, that are able, that, that can assist in keeping up uh, what will be the new gold standards for tourism. What do you mean by that? What, what type of measures or um, additional features um, allows you to say that? Well, yeah, thanks for bringing that up, Marlene. Um, you know, in thinking ahead, you know, the, the airport is a hot button issue. Um, going forward and obviously we'll be getting a lot more guests into the country and so both tourism operators and the drivers of these hotels and the guests coming to Belize will want to feel safe and so we've uh, developed a barrier system between the drivers and the, and the guests in the back and also a way for them to be sanitizing um, themselves. The, the vans are equipped with individual a, uh, rear air conditioning mm -hmm. so it keeps the air you know uh, circulating and um, you know what we're hoping is that everyone will feel safe in the vehicles that they're operating even if it's a large van with a, a large capacity or smaller vehicles where you know um, 
if it's for family or for business, uh, we're hoping that we can meet the needs uh, of safety um, post COVID. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I think it, it would definitely make people feel more comfortable. Maybe uh, the 2021 model has a hand sanitizer holder instead of a cup holder. Who knows? I think when the, the, prices, the prices that you buy at Belize Diesel, I think they come with an extra person to sanitize your hands. Back. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we, I, I don't discount anything anymore, <laughs> given all that we have experienced so yeah, far. Extra but, person to but one thing we know for sure is that um, transportation is a necessity for many, whether yeah. it's for personal or private. And you did speak of, you know, um, of companies looking to either upgrade their fleet, expand their fleet, and even, um, you know, delivery services becoming more uh, uh, necessary for a lot of businesses as well. Mm -hmm. um, so when, let's... Yeah, when you talk about the food service industry in terms of delivering food, we talk about um, different types of businesses that have to deliver um, you know, you see it all over the place. People are moving out to contactless business. They're look, moving towards, um, you know, trying to mitigate the 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 get the gathering of people and everything. So, you know, food service. You're talking about even now grocery yeah. grocery business in terms of deliveries. Yeah, it's becoming the new normal. So, but yeah. you know what, to Dave uh, and, and of course um, Ryan. One of the things that people are actually looking forward to, besides uh, brand new vehicles, we're actually going out there to see the vehicles, are actually also the services that you guys would offer. So mm -hmm. can you guys expand on that for me, please? Well, I um, mentioned earlier that, uh, you know, dealerships, is, you know, dealerships like all of the ones participating now are really taking into account cleaning and sanitizing of vehicles. And again, to I use the term more so sanitizing. Mm -hmm. um, we are at the forefront of uh, initiating processes to do so. Um, right now, Belize Estate, um, you know, understanding the need for mobility, and I believe all of the dealerships are doing this, but we're taking lead on our end of, of doing a summer promotion that, um, you know, affords people the opportunity to come in at, at reasonable prices. You know, we're actually doing a, a, a free oil change, a labor-free oil change at Belize Estate, um, and it's not just for our brands, not just for Ford and Kia. But for all brands, um, as you all know, or if you may not know, Belize Estate is also the franchise representatives for Napa. So we are able to offer servicing for all all vehicles, all brands. And um, of course, this this takes into account um, you have to make your 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 appointment ahead of time yeah. for us to be able to make sure we have all the parts required for you. But um, this service is something that we, you know, we're trying to also in these hard times give back. And, and it's, it's really an opportunity for us to engage people, learn a little bit more about what their needs are. Um, you know, the automotive industry in Belize and the dealers who participate perform a very, a very valuable service. Um, mobility is going to become a premium now, uh, you know, getting around and, and most of the time, you know, people can't afford or if you can afford a, a good used vehicle and you need to maintain it, you know, money doesn't, you know, a lot of people are in some sensitive situations regarding either salaries being reduced or losing their jobs. And, yeah. you know, the challenges that come along with that, and you still have to be mobile. You still have to, to be able to get around and, and take care of your families and yourselves, right? So I think it's important for people to have affordable opportunities to service their vehicles. At Belize the State right now, this promotion is going to be running from, July to the end of August for two months. It's a summer sales event. Um, yeah. It's it's something that I think I would encourage anyone to take advantage of. Um, customers of the Napa store, customers of Belize Estate, or customers of any of the other dealerships who'd like to come in. And you know, there are times, as Rand could tell you, I mean, with now we're seeing an uptake in servicing. Yeah. And so, you know, a lot of the dealers are becoming a bit inundated with the volume of work that comes in, mm -hmm. whether it be for routine maintenance or for major repairs. And, 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 this is something where the work the work needs to be shared around, and we're we're open to taking over the overspill from any other dealership that comes in, and and, and customers don't have the opportunity yeah. to get their vehicle serviced on time. So you, I mean, you can bring a vehicle uh, to to BC to service, even if it's not one of your brands. Yes, yes. Um, anything non Ford, our our brands are Ford, Kia, and Renault in the light duty line. Um, you know, there's lots of people who, who have bought not just vehicles from the other dealerships, but used vehicles that come in from various yeah. channels. 
and you know they may not have the opportunity. Napa affords us an, an access and a channel to get all of the necessary parts for non non branded vehicles that we support um, mm -hmm. the non Fords, the non Kias, the non Renaults. So um, you know any any owner of any vehicle, any brand who who you know needs servicing or needs a quick oil change and, and a multi point inspection. We provide a 27 point um, free multi point inspection, which at the time maybe you just come in and can only afford an oil change. Mm -hmm. But as you can see from the pictures being shown right now, uh, you know, you, you, sometimes you need work that you may not see. Sometimes you'll be driving around, you don't realize your brakes are worn, your suspension is shot, you may feel it, you know, the vehicle feels different, you know, every so often. We're getting to know ourselves and our vehicles a lot more <laughs> closely, right? So. Um, you know, this 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 multi-point inspection will, will allow us to, to do a general inspection, which we do every time you come in for service, but it's a point that we want to emphasize to everyone. It's good and it's encouraging for us to do that and all your service providers to do that for you so they're able to find any other issues that may develop in a short term or long term. Yeah. All right. So it's going to be this coming Saturday, the 11th. Tell us, give us the details once again, either you or Ryan. Ryan, go ahead, sir. Yep. Yeah, so this Saturday at the tavern, uh, everybody can look forward to some good food um, and hopefully some good vibes. Uh, we're we're excited that this is going to be the first event after you know all these lockdowns that we've had to be uh, be enduring. So uh, I think we, this is a, a well timed event, yeah. and I'm sure that people are are excited to to get out there. All right. Yeah. All right. And masks and social distancing required, right? Of course, please do. John and Marlene, I know you like to go out and buy your food on Saturdays and middays. <laughs> so please, I mean, come by, have a enjoy a cold drink with Ryan and myself and the rest of the dealers, yeah. and come and look at some some really attractive and sexy vehicles and have fun and and enjoy the good company. Mm -hmm. I think it's a it's it's an event as Ryan said that's that's timely. Um, you know, people are looking to get out and. and get out of their homes, they're getting a little cabin fever. So I think it's a great opportunity to come out and see all of these exciting products that Belize has to offer. And again, to um, all of the dealers and engage the dealers. I mean, we, we love seeing people. We love to, to chat and it's just about talking about our products and letting people know what we have to offer. I think it's a great time. So thank you. Thank you guys for the opportunity to share share this with you guys. It's yeah. Saturday at starting at 10 a.m. and we'll go to four. Uh, we'll be out there. Uh, vehicles and it's a family food. event. Family event. So family event. So please come out. All right. all right, guys. Thank you so very much, man. Here's to wishing all the very best. All right. All right. Thank, thank you, you very much, guys. Thanks for having us. All right. And uh, what a wonderful time. We had a good day today, but we're about to wrap things up in just a few. We'll take this final break, and we'll be right back.